Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial on Select 2D. So this time I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a start menu, or a <laughs> escape menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to here, and we're actually right here, I think we'll put it right here, right? It looks like a good area. We need to put a boolean quit, I think we'll, or I'll call it escape menu is equal to false. And then what we need to do is we need to go down to render. And in render, we're going to want to render, actually, we need an if statement. So we're not going to want that. We're going to put a space. So in render, if escape menu, we set, do we set that to false? Yes. OK, good. Menu is equal to true, then we're going to draw three things. We're going to draw a string. We'll make this resume, and we'll even we'll, we're gonna set the key to R. So we resume R, and then where we want to put it. So I'm gonna put it at 400, 330. I've already measured everything as I said before. So it just depends on your screen size. If you do my screen size, this works good. M and Q for main menu and quit. And quit. I'm moving my mic. Sorry. Okay. And then so 400, uh, 280, and then 230. So after that, we put if quit equal equals false, then g dot clear, which is just gonna clear it off the screen. Because if we, if they go and hit resume or any of these, actually, they're gonna take quit and get rid of it. But I put quit. We need a uh, escape menu because we're not it's not quit it's that next we need to do in the updates i'll actually put it on top of the movement actually let's put it under the movement so we need to do hopefully you guys measured everything this is what it should look like just go ahead and quick scroll that's what it should look like for if just in case you're confused from last episode so if input dot is key down input dot key underscore escape so if the escape key is down then ooh, do not want to do that we are doing things we don't want to do there we go so if the escape key is down then we're gonna make uh, escape menu equal to true because if you hit the escape key, then we're going to open the menu. That's what it's saying. Under that, if escape menu equals true, so if it's activated, then if the input that he, whatever we put, so input dot is key down, key down. So if the key, we'll do R first for resume. So if key R is down, That's pretty simple. So if the car, then we just set escape menu equal to false, and we go back to our game. Right? It's not that complicated. Then, if input dot is key down, input dot key m for menu main menu we actually i forgot to put input up here so we need to actually make this input dot key r then sbg dot enter state zero because we're going back to the first state so zero then the last one we need to do if input dot is is key oh god I can't type right now I'm like dead is key down input dot key underscore q then just system dot exit like we did before with the quit button and then zero and that should be all we need to do so now we just run our game and I will be making a menu 
better soon. So we hit play. Got a movement working now. So if we hit escape, this menu comes up. And if we hit R, it goes back. We hit M, it goes to the main menu. And if we hit Q, it quits the game. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.